Hi everybody, I'm Catherine Elizabeth from Cat Beth Art. Welcome to my art channel. This is where my creativity flows. I'm so happy to have you here. In today's episode, I'll be taking you through a new painting with similar colors from last time. However, I did make one modification. I added Payne's Gray. I thought that would add a depth to the blue. So uh, let's take you down and see what happens. Here I am with a brand new 11 by 14 stretch canvas. I'm pouring onto it a brand new can of my PPG MultiPro. If you recall from the last episode, episode 12, I had watered down my rather thick remaining paint in the can from last time, and uh, it kind of played havoc with my paintings. And so I have a brand new can here. And here I am beginning with my paint layering and I begin with the paints gray which is a new color for this episode. Just centering out my paint puddle. And here is my cell activator, black. And I will use some white again with this painting. and I begin my blowout. Let's see if this thicker pillow paint makes any difference with the way the color is spread over the top of it. What I'm noticing is that it's really hard to get that paint to move. I'm really having to get closer than I might like to see movement in the layered paint on top. But again, I think that the colors are coming along nicely. I'm not seeing a whole lot of cell activation at the moment. We'll see how it goes as, as I move forward with uh, the development of this painting. I'll begin with my spin. Again, I notice a lot of the dark from the cell activator. I think it might be a little too thin. Um, maybe with my next paintings, I'll try 
thickening, thickening that up a little bit, or maybe even just replacing it all together with a new batch. In the last few paintings of mine, I've had this collection of dark and the spread out of the gray color. Try another spin to see if I can get more of that off. Oh, it went off center a little bit, so let me correct that. And let's see if some more of that dark on the edge blows off. You know, I'm noticing something with this painting that I have with the others as well, that I use the same color palette. That green, Titan Green Pale, really doesn't, not, doesn't like to sell up for some reason. Um, I might have to play with that a little bit more in the future and see if I notice this being a consistent issue. Here I have you sped up because I'm trying to work on the composition and getting some of that dark purple at the bottom off. I think it's too much of a jar to the eye. Okay, I got most of it there. Now, again, I'm just tilting and working on the composition a bit. So as I'm looking at this painting, I'm noticing that there are some lines that seem to just end in the middle of nowhere, or there's some rounded areas that I think could be eased out a little bit. And so that's what I'm doing with my skewer here. Just trying to uh, work through those to make it a little bit more graceful than what I'm seeing. So, here are the dried results. I really love the blending of colors that occur over here and the kind of quiet space that it gives. And this part right here, I really love the cells. And what I think is particularly intriguing is that when the light isn't hitting it directly, you see shades of gray, shades of the muted green color. But when the light hits it, you get a little surprise of that iridescent blue shining through. I really think that's nice. One lesson that I learned when doing this painting was at the end, when I drew the lines down to try to extend those blunt edges, a little bit. Um, what I found is that for some reason it is causing some cracking to occur when it dries. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's definitely there. And I think that if I was in the frame of mind to do this, I definitely could paint over that and then maybe top the entire painting with some resin and that would completely make that disappear. So that's one option. Another option is just to chalk it down to experience and another lesson learned. So I look forward to seeing you next time for uh, additional lessons learned. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my artwork and my journey. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.